1990, Chevrolet decided to come up with something truly unique in the performance market, and specifically in Chevrolet. They wanted to build a sports car that was going to be able to lead the pack and let the rest follow. They called it the King of the Hill. And this one here is a 1991 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Turquoise metallic is a 1 of 94. What makes this car unique is that Chevrolet wouldn't incorporate cooperation with Lotus and Mercury Marine to build such an animal of a high performance sports car. It would do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, a top speed of around 180 miles per hour. Also, one of the nice things about this car is it did 24 hours of endurance race with an average speed of 175 miles per hour. You couldn't buy any other performance vehicle in the market for the amount of money that this car brought in the performance it got. Let me open the hood and you can see inside the engine. Not only was this a high performance vehicle, but it was a work of art. 5.7 liter engine, four cam, 32 valve engine. This engine would put out 375 horsepower, which doesn't sound like a lot today, but it was an animal in its time. The Corvettes will come with a solar panel roof. They came fully loaded with air conditioning, power seats, driver and passenger, a six speed manual transmission, two solar tops, a painted top to match the car and your solar panel. And the only thing you could tell was the ZR badging in the back that separated it from the normal C4 Corvette. These Corvettes had a wide stance and adjustable suspension, which made it a quite the performance car, the comparable with Ferraris and anything else the foreign high performance market could bring at it. These cars are sought after today and still durable and reliable.